Hello, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Tech Talk. My name is Ryan with All Computer Resources, your nation's leader in automotive computer programming and remanufacturing. Today we will talk about Dodge, Jeep, and Chrysler skim module failure. Welcome back. From 1996 to 2012, Dodge, Jeep, and Chrysler vehicles are equipped with a skim module or a WCM module. This module transmits data from your key to the PCM. When that module fails, the vehicle will no longer start. At All Computer Resources, we have the technology to remove the immobilizer from the PCM. All you will need to do is remove the skim module from underneath the dash. We offer two methods for skim delete. The first, you can send in your PCM with a prepaid label, we'll remove the security and send it back. Two, you can purchase a new PCM from us, we'll disable the skim and ship it out to you. Those PCMs come with a lifetime warranty. It's important to note that if you send your PCM to us, we will not test it for functionality. We will perform the service and ship it back. So if you have other issues, you may need a new PCM as well. I will include a link in the description below that'll take you to the skim removal service on our website. If you would like to purchase a PCM, you can enter your part number in the search field and be sure to select skim disable before adding that PCM to your cart. Or you can give us a call 1-866-699 5230 and we'll be happy to help you. Now, regardless of what option you go with, you will need to remove or unplug the skim module from under the dash. Failure to do so will just re-enable the skim on the PCM. Once this is completed, your vehicle will no longer require a chipped key. It will work with your existing keys and if you'd like to add additional keys, you can just simply cut a metal key. Now, I would like to walk you through removing the PCM, removing the skim module, and reinstalling everything. Disconnect the negative cable from the battery and set it aside. Carefully unplug the PCM. All harnesses will have slide latches or press release clips that will allow you to slide the harness off the PCM. Be sure you analyze your application so you don't damage the PCM clips. Unbolt the PCM mounting plate and remove the PCM from the vehicle. Be sure to check for any ground wires and remove them as well. Remove the PCM from the mounting plate. If you are sending your PCM to us, Please package the PCM carefully to avoid damaging the plastic plugs. Remove the plastic cover from underneath the steering column. Locate and unbolt the skim module. We recommend removing the skim module completely to prevent it from being connected accidentally in the future. Carefully remove the skim module from around the ignition and slide it out. Unplug the skim module and set it aside. Tuck the skim harness back underneath the steering column and reinstall the plastic cover. Once you have your skim deleted PCM, install the mounting bracket, install the PCM, and reconnect any ground wires. Carefully reinsert the harness connectors and be sure they are fastened securely. Reconnect the battery and tighten the terminal. Now we're ready to start the vehicle.
and that's it. As you saw in that last clip, the security light did stay on. Depending on your vehicle year, make, and model, the security light might remain illuminated. If you need further assistance, please give us a call or visit us at allcomputerresources.com. We'll be happy to help you out. That concludes this episode of Tech Talk. We're thankful that you tuned in and hopefully we were able to assist you to get back on the road. By hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel, you'll help others find this videos and get kudos for helping them fix their cars as well. Drive safe and see you soon.